All right, guys. Um, this is on the Life on the Farm channel. It's I haven't made a video in a long time because my camera kind of broke, so I gotta use my phone now. If it, if I can figure this out. These are the ducks. I started with ten, then I moved up to sixty, sold forty babies, and sold a couple here and there, and now I have a whole bunch more babies, and I have more. Mom's setting. I don't know if they're gonna hatch or not. But. And then those a whole bunch of those are juveniles. There's two adults right there. There's two. Cause the juveniles are growing really quick. I think we're gonna be butchering them some this weekend. Those two are like probably drakes. Me butchering some of them. And I sold some last weekend. There's the nesting boxes. That one got a hole in it. Probably gonna need to replace that. And here's a mother. I don't know. Yeah, she's still sitting on eggs. I don't know if they're gonna hatch or not, but I don't worry about it because last time I didn't know and I ended up with like 60 babies. 40 babies or something. So I have the nesting boxes. And we got over here. We got pheasants. Uh, I showed you a video of them, I think. But I don't want to get too close because they go nuts. But my dad had put some of the peepers on them. So they don't peck each other. The little blue thing you can maybe see. Uh, they seem a little more tame. See, that's a peeper on that guy right there. They don't see as well and they won't peck each other because they'll peck each other really bad. But they're really beating down this area. It's a pretty big area. You have to cover it because you don't want to clip their wings and you don't want to fly around. Uh, there's the automatic water. As the tube goes up through there and connects us, connects to the hose. And then, uh, we built kind of like a little thing here for them. It's going to be in November when we butcher them, so this place is going to be beaten down pretty bad. Uh, here's my mushroom logs. I don't know if I'll get mushrooms this year or this spring fall you it said six months to like a year so I'm thinking next spring but I have seen some weird little growth on some I don't know if it's but they do look like they're spreading the mycelium looks like it's spreading I have other videos on that these are the jungle fowl we sold some some of them and they, uh, the people that bought them are going to be coming back around Thanksgiving also, I think, to get the rest. So, they're going to be gone. Present. Right here. The duck pool drains out to here when I pull the plug and I just fill it up with the clean water. Oh, I gotta go back to that. The regular chickens are there. Got all the rabbits. Indoor rabbits. We got a whole bunch of younger ones that are probably gonna be butchered this weekend. The ones inside grow faster, but they eat more, so. And. This one's a little smaller. Then I'm going to be probably breeding two more rabbits before winter so we can get meat over the winter. Or before fall. There's those. Uh, we had a fox problem. And he came in and killed some turkeys and some chickens. So I set out traps and I caught two barn cadets. 
that's not good. So I don't know if he's still around or what, but we haven't seen, haven't had any problems lately. Here's the meat, broiler chickens. They get moved in the tractor every day. It's fresh water and stuff. It's in there. They're gonna be butchered next weekend. Uh, these guys got yeah, move their tractor. Maybe not. It's kind of long. Um, a couple might be butchered. I don't know because they go a little slower outside. But this is the female hen. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think there's eleven in there. Started with eleven in there, so but we keep the males and the females separated. And we can tell their sex, we separate them. And this is the male pen. I gotta build a bigger pen. This is kind of compact. This one's probably for four or five and has like eight or nine. So, but they did dig out once right here. And we had to catch them. So I don't, as long as, I think as long as you move it often, see they dug a little bit there, as long as you move it enough then they won't dig. Oh, the turkeys, big turkeys are way over there, I can't zoom in, so. And the cows are over here. Easy. There's the cows. And down uh, here, see, this is where our tractor has gone. They got around there. And after the grass stops, after it doesn't hurt the grass anymore and the grass starts growing really good. So it hurts the grass at first kind of because it's so thick. Like over here. See that? But there's poop so it's fertilizer after. And this is the turkey tractor. Turkey and barbara. There's some of the younger turkeys, the second batch we got. So they're ready to be moved. So, thanks for watching. I'll probably be making some more videos. Um, just maybe if I can get this on, I can make more videos on stuff. So, thanks for watching. Bye.